Oh, Lord, I'm drinking a 40 ounce today, guys. Oh, PC's Beer Reviews, PC's Beer Reviews, PC's Beer Reviews. Well, it's another episode of BC's Beer Reviews with your boy BC. Well, I'm glad to be recording today, man. Got another one on my hands for you. Man, I had to reach back on this one, man. I mean, far back. I'm talking so far back, I've had this beer. It's been about 25 years or more since I've had this beer. And I can't believe Here I am having it now. Woo! Man. And you know what that beer is? King Cobra. That's right. By Anheuser Bush. Yeah. Premium malt liquor, smooth taste, 40 fluid ounces, a 6% APV, and no IBUs to speak of. That's right, I used to drink this back in the day, and man, it's been too long since I've had <laughs> King Cobra, <laughs> especially from a 40. <laughs> back in the day, I used to drink this straight out the bottle, but but then again, it got warm up, warmed up pretty quick. But someone say, well, you know, you ain't supposed to let it set out that long. You were just sip it. I was like, oh, man. Well, anyways, this is uh, owned by Anheuser-Busch. And uh, pop goes to twist top. Uh, it's looking nice. Looks like apple juice in a way. Almost looks like it's poured like apple juice. <laughs> yeah, the head looks nice. Looking good. Getting all kinds of bubbles. It looks like just, well, now just small bubbles. There was like about a dozen big bubbles, but they all popped. Ton of tiny bubbles. Oh, this is looking nice. High carbonation rate from what it looks like. Let's see that. Oh, yeah, you can see me through that bad boy. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's slightly off white. It's almost like white head. It's like vanilla color as far as the head goes. Or what's left? It's like a film now. It was probably about a half a finger's worth when I got done pouring this. So let's get the smell, shall we? Oh, that's floral aroma. It smells like a balance here. Yeah, some balance of the uh, smell of floral. So it's probably a good, I'm assuming it's going to be a good hoppy, malty, corn, and water type of beer. And maybe even a brewer's solution on top of that. Well, I mean, if they got corn, they might not need the brewer's solution. But if they've got the brewer's solution, they're not going to be using the corn. That's supposed to... Uh, Help with the fermentation process for the beer. So, yeah. Well, like I said, it's been about 25 years since I've had King Cobra. So, let's see if it stands up to the test of it being better or worse than what I remember. Because sometimes memory kind of plays tricks on us. Think it was good, but once you start really tasting other things, it's like, uh, and then you get back to it after you have it in a while. It's like, oh man, it's so terrible. I ain't having it again. Uh, let's see how this goes. I already did the smell. Well, enough of the jibber jibber. Let's see how this bad boy tells you, shall we? Yeah. Okay. It's not sweet, so I'm consuming corn on this one. And let's see here. 
hops, barley. This is definitely smooth for a malt liquor. And, you know, with it being a malt liquor, I was expecting maybe it being higher than what it is as far as the APV goes. But, I mean, this is no higher than, I mean, this is, I mean, just a hair higher than, <laughs> dare I should, should say, Milwaukee's Best Ice. Yeah, you know, Milwaukee's Best Ice is a 5.9. This is a 6%er, so it's just a hair. And now I noticed with Milwaukee's Best Ice, it's a little bit more sweeter to me than compared to this. So, yeah, so this is definitely showing that it's actually more balanced beer between the hops, the barley, the water, and the corn that they're using on this. So, I'm highly impressed. The carbonation rate's still going. I mean, I'm, just by that, I'm still impressed by the carbonation rate. That this is For me, it's a high carbonation rate here that I'm getting on this. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that, but, but then again, it might vary from place to place or bottle to bottle or what have you, but that's what I'm getting on here now. So, I mean, I've, yeah, I've got no, you know what, I cannot talk bad about this beer, I really can't. <laughs> remember drinking this and like saying I had thinking that we were so cool <laughs> straight from the bottle but then were the days when you were young and thinking that you ruled the world so then you start living and then you realize what really is going on what's really going on so well, if I had to give this one a grade, you know what? I have to give this one a 8.75. Yeah. I mean, is it bad? No. Is it the best beer out there? No. But for its group of beers it's actually good I'm, so hey I remember drinking it thinking it was awesome and not really having you know a bad hangover or nothing from drinking it so I mean from what I remember then and I doubt that I'm going to get much of a hangover off of just drinking this so I mean Hey. But then again, it's one of them things. So, well, <laughs> it's about to close this one up. All right. Well, hey, like I've always said, hey, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll check you out here next time on the next PC's Beer Reviews. BC's going to drink some beers So take a seat, baby, have no fear He will certainly bring that cheer So sit down and don't move that rear BC's gonna review Some beers easier for you Because he just wants to